Is your Windows 11 showing your version has reached the end of service and refusing to update? Don't worry, it doesn't mean your PC is dead or useless. It just means Microsoft has stopped sending updates for that version, which can make your system less secure. When you can't update, it's not just about security. You might also face bugs, lost new features, and find some apps stop working over time. That's why keeping Windows update is so important to keep your PC safe and running well. In this video, I will show you a simple step-by-step -step way to fix this problem even if your PC says it doesn't meet the requirements. So let's get started. Before we do anything else, it's important to verify if your hardware officially supports Windows 11. So first download Microsoft's PC Health Check Utility from the official website. Install and open the app. Click Finish. Click Check Now to see if your device passes. As you can see, my PC doesn't meet Windows 11 requirements. I am showing this tutorial on this laptop for your benefit. So if your device doesn't support it, these steps will help you fix it. And if it does support it, they will still work just fine. Note, if your PC is extremely old, you might consider upgrading hardware components for full compatibility. But even if you can't, you can still install Windows 11 using a special USB installer that supports both UEFI and legacy BIOS. To perform the upgrade, you will need a bootable USB drive that supports both legacy and UEFI modes. Now I will go ahead and create the USB drive, but I won't be showing the full process here to save time. If you want to see the detailed step by step method, I have already shared a separate video on my channel. Feel free to check it out anytime. Once your USB drive is ready, you are all set for the next steps. First, insert the USB drive into your PC. Open File Explorer and navigate to the USB drive. Now, double click on setup.exe to launch the installer. Remember, if your PC doesn't meet Windows 11 requirements, make sure to disable your network connection at this point. But if your PC is supported, you can leave it connected. Once you click on setup.exe, the Windows setup screen will appear to guide you through the next steps. Click on change how setup downloads updates. Select recommended and click next. Wait while setup checks for updates. Now accept the license terms. Now click on change what to keep. Make sure you select keep personal files and apps if you are upgrading from Windows 10 or another Windows 11 build. If this option is grayed out, restart the installer and try again. Don't choose any other option if you want to preserve your files. Click next.
Now click install to begin the installation. Setup will now copy files and install Windows 11. Be patient, it may restart several times. Make sure your PC stays on throughout the installation. Don't power it off. Once the installation finishes, your PC will boot into the new Windows 11 version. Now go to settings. Then click on Windows Update. And as you can see, the your version has reached end of service message is now gone. Install any pending updates to get the latest feature and security patches. If drivers are missing, download them from your PC manufacturer's website. And that's it. Your PC is now running a supported version of Windows 11 without that annoying end of service warning. So if you found this tutorial helpful, then please hit the like, share and subscribe our channel for more tech tutorials and fixes. Thank you. Thanks for watching.